Phew, it is a hot one, boys and girls, but today's a good day because I got a delivery in the mail, and here she is. This is my Steyr M95. This rifle here uh, originated around 1895, I believe. It was used during World War I and World War II and in some conflicts after World War II. The uh, Star M95 was originally chambered for the 8x50 cartridge and then somewhere after World War I and before World War II it was rechambered for a little more powerful cartridge, the 8x56. So if you get one of these rifles, one way to tell that it's chambered for the 8x56, it should have an S stamped on the barrel right there. So this one has the S stamped on there and then the importer also penciled in 8x56R. And so I got me some 8x56R ammunition so I should be good to go. Uh, this rifle, like I said, was used during World War I, World War II. When I got her, of course, with all curry and relics that you get through the mail, you got to tear it completely down and strip all that cosmoline out of it. And I just got done doing that, so I'm itching to shoot it to see if it actually works or if it's going to blow up in my face. Now this particular rifle, it takes an in-block clip, similar to like the M1 Grand, if you're familiar with that. I don't have the in-block clip. Uh, they're on order, but I haven't got them yet. Basically what the in-block clip is, is a clip that holds five rounds. You insert the clip into the magazine. The clip stays in the magazine. And then I believe the second to the last, or the last round after it's been fired, the clip's ejected out of the bottom of the magazine. Means that I don't have the clips yet, I gotta load it one at a time. Uh, this is a straight pull bolt action rifle. And if you're a southpaw like me, one disadvantage is the sling swivels on the pistol grip on the stock. This is a what's known as a semi-pistol grip. So that's going to be a little inconvenience for me being I'm a left-hand shooter. But I'm itching to shoot this to see if she's going to work. So we're going to load it up with one round because that's all I can do right now. And we're going to do a little farming. We're going to shoot her into the dirt. There's our 8x56R Manlicher. I don't know if I pronounced that right or not, but I don't care. All right, I'm gonna load her up for one round, slam the bolt shut, and we'll see what she does. Hopefully she does not blow up. Well, she shot. She didn't blow up, that's a good sign. Let's pull the bolt back, she spits her out. So not bad for a rifle with the age and the history that it has. Unfortunately, this was not on our side during World War II, it was on the enemy's side, but it still has plenty of history to it. So, there you go, boys and girls, the Steyr M95. You know, some people complain about the kick on these things. I, I didn't think it was that bad. Not a bad rifle at all. Of course, it's no M1 Grand. Now, an M1 Grand, th that's a rifle. Boy, 